With 2022 being an incredibly dry year in CSGO, I mean, we've practically got no content updates, sure, a new map, but I mean, compared to other games, that's not much, and on top of that, we barely got any new skins released as well, only 34, which is the lowest amount released since 2013, according to this chart from TDM Jesus. So, did Valve take an off year, or is 2023 finally going to give us the content we should have in CS? And how does it tie in with investing? Today, we'll figure it out. But just before we get into that, check out the Christmas event going on with the sponsor SkinsMonkey. SkinsMonkey is a trading site that's going to give you a great way to trade your skins for a fair value. And with the Christmas event, they're currently offering a free gift to everyone for just signing into the site. You can also earn money just for trading, and you get a free $5 bonus if you sign up with that link at the top of the description. So be sure to check them out, but for now, let's get right into it. Okay, so not only statistically should we be getting a ton of skins, I mean an operation is easily going to give us over a hundred we'll get a case with it as well and probably another two cases at least throughout the year so a new collection with the Anubis package in the major as well of course new souvenir skins so we've got a lot of content skin wise that should be coming and gameplay wise as well hopefully I don't see any reason we don't get an operation this year but who knows maybe it'll be something new entirely at this point now, something I've covered before is that with these new skins, we're going to have an absolute ton of stuff released, which means Chinese renting sites, which are incredibly popular in China, are going to have people renting out these newer skins to others for money, which means people will be selling older skins, whether they're play skins, investments, cases, whatever it may be, just to get a hold of the new stuff, and just to be selling stuff to buy stars in the item shop if we do get an operation, so they could get all the new skins with that as well, and then all those those new skins are going to be put on renting sites stuff like that so people make their money and obviously if a new operation comes a lot of selling pressure is going to come in new skins people are going to be focused on them and people selling older stuff to either get those new skins or to buy stars in the shop but another thing we should absolutely focus on is the increasingly interesting major investing market as well if you haven't been paying close attention to it you've absolutely been missing out the stockholm capsules for example doubled in price in these past few weeks obviously these stickers had huge potential off the bat they got bought up pretty quickly but now we're really starting to see values that they can get to, and I don't think $4 for this capsule is anywhere near their peak potential. Not to say it's all going to happen at once, but I do have high hopes. These stickers look really, really good, and I think everybody agrees with that. But with that being said, we're going to have new sticker capsules released as well, of course, this year, and two of them at that. But speaking of incredibly low amounts of supply on the market, we're also seeing it in the real major capsules so far, which is an interesting thing to keep your eye on. I'm sure we've still got quite a while to go with the sale this time around as sales have done nothing besides get longer and longer, but still. If supply stays this low, we could absolutely see some good results, even if the two capsules that get released this year with the two majors, of course, have really good stickers. I think supply is the most important thing when it comes to major investing, and that's all I'm really looking at. And so far, these Rio major stickers and capsules are looking really, really low in supply on the market. As for really the rest of the skin market, obviously expect a dip. But long term, I still think things are going to continue upwards, which is why I'm not selling yet and still Still don't plan on selling at all. With all the new content updates we should get, I still think we're going to get a lot of new players, more people buying skins obviously with how accessible and easy it is for everyone, and overall I think things will be great for the wider market, just your average play skins and stuff like that, because prices all around have huge potential, even prices on the Steam market, like we should absolutely see these things continually increasing throughout the year, because you can buy the Steam Deck through Steam Wallet funds nowadays, that's obviously going to give people reason to actually sell on the steam market and if you could sell stuff on the steam market and that's all going up in price that's obviously going to bring third party prices up as well so now that steam funds are actually kind of useful steam deck didn't exist too long ago we should definitely see prices continue to go up and i think that was a big reason why we saw a lot of prices get so high this year and also a reason why steam market prices and buff prices are so closely correlated now and just so close to each other in general but yeah Overall, I think 2023 is going to be a great year for CSGO, especially for investors as well. Let me know what you guys think. And as always, if you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And of course, check out Skins Monkey as well for that free $5 bonus. But for now, I'll see you guys in the next one.
Peace.